Recording in progress. from Soulfire Social. A pleasure to see you today. Let's go ahead and bring our hands right down onto the knees, closing the eyes, rolling them gently up to the brow point. Just bringing your attention to your breath. And I want you just to make very gentle inhales and exhales, noticing flow in through the nose and out slightly cooler on the inhale a little bit warmer on the exhale and just notice how when we breathe just gently we really just fill the upper part of our chest we don't bring that prana all the way down we tend to breathe in the upper half of the chest and we're just going about our day and just feeling into that that automatic breath, but being aware of it. And then starting to just use a little bit of direction, a little bit of internal force, bringing that prana a little bit deeper. And maybe just first bring it down towards the breastbone, trying to pull it visually down around into the back body. Letting go of any stale energy. You can see it like white golden light, just coming in, starting to spread and flow. You can maybe breathe it into your heart. So if you could just visualize that oxygen coming in, meeting with the blood, starting to flow out, enhanced and new through the bloodstream. And breathing even a little more deeply, bringing it down into the sternum and the solar plexus, starting to feel it in the diaphragm. And perhaps feeling how the body reacts to that, expanding and we're working on elongating as well. So adjusting your body as you bring the breath a bit deeper and a little bit more fully into the physical form. Now bringing it down into the belly and allowing the belly to move, perhaps undulate a bit with the flow of prana. Just the subtle shifts that occur when the pranic body really starts to infiltrate the physical body. Just what that does with your attention, like how easy it is to just start to turn into coming into this awareness, breath, body, flow. Bring your attention even more deeply down into the pelvic floor. So if we could just create a circular breath in, down, up and out. And it doesn't matter if you bring it in the front of the body or the back, see what feels natural to you. Allow the body to just flow with the prana. And the next piece of attention I'll bring you to. So once we have the flow inside, understand that your prana is directly related to your aura. So as you breathe and expand and shift through the body, we also can tune into the undulations of our electromagnetic field. A slight expansion, a slight contraction. And just take a moment to feel into that field today. How are you? Are you feeling expansive? Are you feeling a little bit contained? Or maybe just for this practice, let's bring it in into a space around our mat, 
our field, our energy. Tap into the pull of gravity below you. Tap into the heavenly galactic energy above you. Then go ahead and bring your hands together in front of you and start to rub the palms together vigorously, creating warmth and creating heat. Bringing that into prayer, straightening out the elbows, forearms parallel to the earth, strong posture, and make any adjustments that you need to make in your physical form, reaching that crown up, elongating through the spine. We are working on your flow of energy, so make sure that you're in alignment to shift and move it. You begin with the Adi Mantra, followed by the Mangala Charn. And today, I'm gonna to invite us to do this a little bit quieter than normal. Making sure with the Ong, the tongue's on the roof of the mouth, but really keeping this within us, keeping this vibration really focused on an internal vibration. Let's take a nice long deep inhale. Gentle sigh. Inhale to begin. Um. that bowing to infinite wisdom, bowing to the wisdom within. Release the breath. And before we begin the Mangala Chan, I want to read you a description of this. We know it's the mantra for protection around the body, calling on all of the directions. The other translation is exactly, I bow Adgarenume to the primal wisdom. Jugadgarenume, I bow to the wisdom through the ages. Satgarenume, I bow to the truest divine wisdom. Sirigurude Vename, I bow to the great wisdom within. With that in mind, let's chant, inhale. Adgare name, Jugadgare name, Satgare name, Siri Guru Deve name. Adgare name, Jugadgare name, Satgare name. Siri Guru Deve Name Adgare Name Jugadgare Name Satgare Name Siri Guru Deve Name Inhale and hold. It's like a prayer. You're holding in this vibration. Open the prayer into the lotus as we release the breath. And then inhale, bring the lotus up through the chakras. You're inhaling through the nose. All the way up. Open the hands out, give back in gratitude. Exhaling through the nose. 
Inhale through the nose, scoop the energy up. Flip the prayer into lotus, second inhale through the nose. Up, giving back in gratitude. Exhale long through the nose. This time as we touch, it's like you're inhaling, bringing energy to your heart. Flip the prayer, let that energy flower into the lotus of love. Inhale up. Energy, love, gratitude, give back. Pulling it up, letting it flower, letting it ignite through the chakras, giving back in gratitude. It's another way of creating a flow with your breath, with your energy, and continue at your own pace. It's two breaths in through the nose and one long breath out. Bowing to primal wisdom, wisdom through the ages, true wisdom, and the great wisdom within. yourself into the vibration and the frequency of love and above, feeling a great sense of gratitude and peace for showing up today for your practice, being present, being connected, committing to being in flow and really allowing yourself to Work on maintaining the connection throughout the 90 minutes we're together. So let's take a deep inhale and in through the nose. Extra sip through rounded lips. One great big sigh out. Uh, release and go ahead and come onto your back. I want you to just for one moment take your hands, place them on your belly. See if you can feel into 
the pulse of the navel. If you can't yet, don't worry, we haven't done a lot of work, but that second heartbeat. Many times it's not directly at the navel center. It can be below or to the side, but we're gonna work on adjusting it to get it right to the center so it's in alignment with our heart space. Two hearts beating. A connection to mother and the God, our heart space open. So let's do three long breaths right into the belly, in through the nose, feel the belly rise. Out through the nose. Bring the knee, right knee up. Hold it as close to the chest as you can. Pull it in. Take a moment. If you need to do a little stretchy stretch, pull it in. Find the space, whether it's up by the knee or down by the calf, that lets you pull it all the way in. Make sure your spine is really straight. And slowly start to raise the left leg up and down. And Start off slow.
toes up as far as you can towards the sky, pulling the left knee in, inhale, hold the breath, squeeze, first big pull on Mula Banda, pull everything up and in, be very intentional, pull that knee even closer to the chest, pull your navel back towards the spine, keep holding, keep squeezing, See if you can make that face as serene as possible, gazing up with the third eye. Slow release. I want you to let go of the right leg first. Total control. Down. Heel gently kissing the earth. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Let it touch. Let it land. Now release the left leg slowly stretching it out gently 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 all the way out put the feet together drop the hands down palms on the earth feel the release through the lower abdomen breathe nose into the belly help to distribute the energy hold it there take an extra sip deep into the belly Hold it there. Let's get rid of anything stale that we need to shift. Move, surrender, let it go. <sighs> Another deep inhale, nose, belly. Extra sip, rounded lips to belly. <sighs> belly button pushing all the way up towards the sky. Hold it, all of the energy in the lower triangle. Release, big sigh. Ah. Beautiful. Flip yourself over onto your belly. And we're going to put our hands by our shoulders, up by our head. Our feet are together. Our chin touches the earth here. And we're literally just raising up so you get a little tilt see my elbows are just a little bit up i'm coming up just a little bit here then i drop down and i let my chin the moon center touch so you're going to feel it's like an uh, almost like a little pulley up through the lower back i inhale 
like hydraulics down. Feel the chest, feel the chin be flat. Inhale, rising up, using your core. Come a little bit like, so you actually get that like beautiful pressure, then release, belly drops, lower ribs, down, 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 moon center. Start off slow, we'll do 10 slow, and then we're gonna speed it up. Exhale down, all out the nose. If your lower back starts to hurt, open up the feet. chakra it's like you're gazing up and out and you come down touch moon inhale up once you hit 10 start going a bit faster breath in breath out but watch your back pushing into the earth with the hands as well. Full adjustment for that rib cage. You continue to visualize, you continue to breathe. Stay with us. Join again when you can. Meet with our chins on the mat. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, rise up. Squeeze Mulavanda, hold to the best of your ability. Release. 
chin comes down. And then push up so that the knees come up like you're going into child's pose. But we're gonna open them, okay? Open them so that you can come down on the chin and hold the buttocks here. So you might just make an adjustment. You wanna be able to hold the thighs the buttocks out so pull back if you need with the chin it's an awkward position I know and it's also meant to release gas in the body so listen if anything happens here it's okay it's supposed to so the chin is down if that's too much for your cervical spine put the third eye but hold let the buttocks be raised and breathe Stands, you can also just hold the thighs. Breathing in and out the nose. here we do not want to be feeling strain which is challenging because I feel strain in this and so we have to let our bodies adjust it's like let your body find its own natural alignment settle into it you can bring the buttocks closer to the feet if you need rest here now so keep your thoughts on your breath on your satnam your gratitude but stay very present stay connected here But a big inhale, squeeze and hold, light up the whole back body, pull the navel in, eye focus, third eye, very big pull. When you release, be gentle with yourself, come back lying on your belly. Let ourselves release the back here. And keep your hands up by your chest, but maybe put the head to one side. And let's just do a quick little work with our breath and muscles and conscious contracting. I want you to breathe into your lower back as if you could take all of the prana like we did in the beginning, right to your lower back where there may be any tension. Breathe in. 
consciously contract the muscles of the lower back like you're bringing the prana in to squeeze to refresh hold those muscles hold that prana in and then release the breath release the tension and let the lower back drop further feel your belly come a little bit more directly on the earth very subtle but very potent let's do it again inhale nose to lower back hold the breath consciously contract the muscles any tension hold it let it go bring your chin back into position bring the feet you're going to be grabbing the outside of the feet if you can here okay so maybe work with your shoulders if not bring your hands as close to your feet as you can but we're just inhaling up exhaling down chin touches inhale up and if you can you're lifting the knees up don't worry if it's just a millimeter it's okay it's gentle up down Now, if you're feeling like, oh, I'm ready to go, do this a bit more aggressively. But otherwise, just feel into the breath and the movement. Sometimes subtle is wonderful. Try and kick. 
kick hard. to the other side. Let the energy circulate. Breathe into your belly long and deep three times. Feel it press into the earth. Yes. Feel it press into the earth. Now. Maybe you can feel that belly beating into the earth. Don't worry if you can't. Just tune in for a second. Can you feel the pressure, the pulse of that second heartbeat? Let me push your belly hard into the earth and experiment with it for a moment. Gather your energy. What's at that navel? I can. I want you to come into a positive mind. Shift from neutral to positive. I can. I can. I'm also going to tap into the negative and say, well, I'm going to listen to my body and do what I can. But we're going to go into this with our I can attitude. Take a deep inhale. Release, push yourself up. We're gonna do some frogs. We're gonna shift that energy that we just created in the lower triangle into the upper one. We haven't done frogs in a while. Oh boy, get ready. Now, 52. 52 means 13, 26, or 52, but we're gonna have a whole lot of time here. I'm gonna play a little Gobinde Mukande so we can tap into our warrior spirit. And just if you're on and haven't done this with us before, our heels are preferably touching here. I'm open through the space. We're flipping all of the energy, particularly sexual energy from the second chakra up and over. My hands are out to stabilize. I inhale to drop the energy up and over. I make sure my head drops all the way down. Important, when you release, head doesn't just stop here, it comes up. It's a full position. I would say maybe do 13, stop, shake the legs, 13, stop, shake the legs, 13, stop, inhale, up, hold. When you are done, come lying on your back so I'll know you're all finished when you're spreading that energy through your body. Let's go. Okay.
13, not three sets of 13. My math was off. sent all of the energy from the lower triangle up, particularly the ohas, that sexual energy, all those juices and flow from the sacral chakra up, feel into the upper triangle, breathe, heart, throat, third eye, see if you can feel into a full body energy expansion, balancing, activating, beautiful. If you're done, you're lying back on your back. And just a reminder as you lie back, the difference between that positive mind and the ego. Positive mind. We like to flip that on. I can, I will, we commit. But we don't let the ego get in the way, which would be that comparison, that need that might push us past what we're supposed to do today. The ego kind of gets in the way of us listening to our bodies. The positive mind inspires us to greatness, but allows for fluctuations, allows for breath, allows for a pause. So breathing, flowing on your backs. Okay. So now we're going to pump a little more energy in and then it gets real fun. It gets real fun. So bring your feet together. Interlace your hands behind your head. And why don't you pick whether the masculine is on top or the feminine? How are you feeling? We're balancing. So maybe you need a little more feminine today. Maybe you'll need a little more masculine. Raise your elbows up towards your ears. Start to raise your legs up and down. It's a minute and a half. If you need a bolster or you need to leave your hands under your buttocks to protect your lower back, do that. I'm going to use a bolster today because I want to have my hands back here. Up, down, inhale. You've got a minute and a half. Oh yeah, help yourself.
40 seconds. Hold them there, perfect your posture. Let's have an exhale. Then inhale in. Deeply through the nose, hold it. Squeeze Mola Bandha, point the toes, point the elbows up. Squeeze the navel back. Fluttering that third eye. Serene faces. When you release, slow and control. Work on your core here. Let go of the breath, the lock. Slow release. You can do it, do one leg at a time if you need. Let go. Release the hands down. Come into corpse pose. Palms are facing up towards the sky. Let all of that beautiful energy just flow. you to make your tongue really stiff and for the next minute I just want you to la 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 hitting the roof of the mouth activating the vibration up let's go la 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 going you are activating and bringing the energy up to the third eye and the crown now take an inhale through the nose, hold it, put your tongue on the roof of the mouth, hold it, squeeze Mola Banda. You're connecting the four lower, up through the throat, fifth chakras, up to the six and seven, push. Third eye, light it up, crown, light it up. What color is your lotus today? Hold, 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 push. Release when you need, drop the tongue. Stay with the third eye, focus. Start to pump your navel up and down, up and down. Just pump the navel up and down, up and down. Pumping, pulling in and out with the navel. And we're going to start chanting hut, hut, hut with the pump of the navel and with the stiff tongue. So it's like the tongue hitting the roof of the mouth and the pull of the navel. They're big activators. It's creating all new energy. It says it's the best facial we can give ourselves. This is renewing cells. Let's go. Hut, 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 hut. I'm going faster. Hut, hut, feel into it. Hut, hut. Hut, 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 hut,
Calling on God, creative consciousness, the divine, pump the navel, really connecting. Pull the navel back, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Everything is connected. Everything is clear. Everything is being lit up. Release tongue. Face fully serene. Let the belly release. Let the buttocks really drop. Open up through the root. Not an ounce of tension in your body. I just want you to gaze out your third eye and feel into a connection. A vision, a clarity, a knowing, a feeling, a being. that energy total renewal cellular renewal bring your knees up into your chest rock from right to left left to right release that spine keep your eyes closed you're gonna rock up and down on the spine I want you to come into easy pose keep all the energy in try not to open the eyes just come right into easy pose, sit up straight. Hands in Gyan Mudra, thumb and index are touching, facing up on the knees. And what we're gonna do is one minute, it's called the sitting dance. We're just gonna raise our arms, we're not gonna repeat a movement, go crazy shaking the upper body and then we're going to shift into one minute with our toes and feet as well. But just shake out every piece of energy you can. First minute, arms get raised, shake it.
take your feet out, start to move legs. to breathe long deep long deep yes long and deep and we're going to start chanting the legs have to be very straight you're supporting your lower back Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare Hare this means the energy of God in all its pleasure. The energy of God in all its pleasure. Give me one moment and we'll begin together. Okay. Make sure you're supported. You feel good here. Okay. Sorry. Okay, we'll start in 10 seconds. I focus third eye, chin towards the chest. And Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hare, Hare, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hare, Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hare Hare, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hare Hare, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hare Hare, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare Hare one more Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare Hare inhale squeeze and hold 
divine energy of God, goddess, divinity, in all of its pleasure and joy. Squeeze and hold. When you release so slow, you feel each vertebra drop, controlled, protect yourself, protect your spine. Come so the knees are in the chest. We're gonna rock up into seated, keep the eyes closed. You don't wanna lose any of this energy. Nothing. Come into your yogi posture, lotus, half lotus. Pull your bolster beneath you, just keep it all in. Bring your hands into Gyan Mudra, thumb and index touch. We are ready to receive. And the instructions are very clear. Just tune in. Come into a feeling of kindness for self and others, compassion for self and others. Just bring yourself into that space and become thoughtless. Breathe. Say no to any thought that comes for three minutes. You will have no thought.
begin chanting long sat nams and everyone should do their own count or you can follow mine whatever you like it's eight for sat eight beats for sat nam is one if yours is different than mine that's okay let's begin Sa tongue to the roof. Release the hands down into your lap and simply assess your energy. Flow your connection and just listen. Visualize roots down to the earth, ground yourself. If you need, breathe all the way down into your roots. Connect. to your chest, feel into your physicality, hold on to your heart space as we transition into the long time sun, honoring the self, honoring each other, 
sharing our energy with the collective and closing again in our highest truth. Today we whisper this vibration just gently. long deep inhale and bring your prayer over your head holding the breath may all beings know peace may all yoga practice contribute to the well-being of all as we exhale bring your prayer through the chakras you can join me peace to all light to all truth to all and love to all we bow down giving thanks to mother earth and Father Sky, blessing you, blessing your prayers, thanking you for taking time for yourself, for those around you, and for the collective by just showing up to be in your highest vibration today. Let's rise up, greeting one another with a sadhana. Is it okay if I turn it around? Satnam.